Hey there everyone, welcome back to the new video. In this video, we are going to create a channel artifacts using config.txt.yaml file. This is one of the most important file. Uh, using this file, you we can create a channel.transactions file and genesis.block as well. So let's dig into this file. Yeah. So it's having different configuration already. So coming to the first one, that is the organization. So before that, this file is situated inside the channel. Config.txt.yaml name is there. So inside this organization, so we'll have different organization, order organizations, two different organizations, or one organization one and organization two. So inside this organization, uh, we have different parameters like name, ID, membership service provider directory different policies defined so first one is the name this is the name of that organizations id is the msp id for in case of orderer we are calling as the orderer msp so this is the msp directory membership service provider directory this is the path so just in the last video we have created the crypto materials for each organizations so this is the path crypto config slash order organization slash example dot com slash msp this is the path order organizations next one is the exam order organization example dot com we are already inside this and this is the msp path we have to give the msp path of that organization next one is the policies so in hyperledger fabric there are different type of policies first one is the signature policy second one is the implicit meta policy so we will have a dedicated videos on these different policy what exactly it means who, which one is the most powerful how they can define in the configuration block of the channels so right now just consider this we can have a different type of policies reader writer and admin these are the roles so where we are defining the policy signature policy as i already told there are two type of the policies first one is the signature policy second one is the implicit meta policy and the rule we have defined here we can define it, this policy in a different way so right now for the readers what we are defining are of orderer msp dot member so coming to the first one reader so inside this the type is signature policy and the rule is or of or of orderer msp dot member so in case of writers it is the same one and for the admin as well but the orderer msp dot admin rule is or of order msp dot admin so what exactly it means i will let you know once we define the endorsement policies and uh, when we dig into the signature and the implicit meta policy in a separate video coming to the next one that is the organization one so here also we have to specify the same parameters like name id msp directory which will be available in the crypto config folder exactly same as above as we mentioned for the orderer and for the organization one and organization two would be almost exactly same just there would be id difference order org1 msp instead of org1 msp there would be org2 msp for the organization 2 the msp directory would be same as the orderer so in case of orderer 1 so msp directory would be for the organization 1 in case of or organization 2 it would be org2 here again we are defining the policies reader writer admin and endorsement in case of reader right rule is or of org1 msp dot admin org1 msp dot peer org1 msp dot client when creating the certificates we have defined an enable node ou as a true here we, you can see here crypto config dot yaml file so for each organization we have defined enable node organization unit as a true yeah so so reader would be any one of the any one of them that is the org one msp dot admin organization unit as admin org one msp dot peer so organization unit if the peer and organization unit is the client 
so i will let you know how we can create a different certificate for different organization unit and uh, when we talk about the certificate we will go through one certificate where we will see what exactly contain in the certificate what kind of organization units are there different organization units for different certificates in case of the writers again for org1 msp.admin org1 msp.client for the admin org1 admin and the endorsement any of the in case of the endorsement any of the org1 msp peer so coming to the anchor peer so for this organization we have peer 0 as the anchor peer again in a separate video we will see the difference between anchor peer and the leader peer for any organization what is the difference and what are the similarities between this anchor peer and leader peer so for the org organization too the configuration is almost same instead of directory is little different because we, in crypto config we have a different folder for the different organization that's organization 2 name is organization 2 msp id is org 2 msp and policy is almost same as above and anchor peer for this organization is peer 0 so coming to the next section that is the channel capabilities so channel what exactly the purpose of channel capabilities channel capabilities enables node running at a different version level to behave in a compatible and consistent way so that is the purpose of channel capabilities so where we have defined there are there are three type of the channel capabilities first one is the channel second one is the orderer and third one is the application level so we have to define these channel capabilities uh, probably we will have a separate video on channel capabilities as well once our network is up and running then we can deep dive into each of these sections so coming to the next one this is the application level configuration for these organizations policies so for the application level configuration uh, so we have a different policies here reader writer admin lifecycle endorsement and the endorsement so uh, we already i already told you that there are two type of the policy signature and the implicit meta policy this is the implicit meta policy and we define for the application so coming to the next one that is the orderer so for orderer orderer defaults what is the configuration we are defining so orderer type we are using as the etcd raft that is a raft orderer and here we are mentioning the consenters orderer.example.com already mentioned that we are going to create a network with single orderer right now raft orderer that would be raft orderer and the address would be this one orderer.example.com 7050 port number batch timeout and batch size these are the very important parameters in the genesis block um, when we talk about the batch size and batch timeout what exactly it specifies when orderer order the transactions and create a block when it create the block when orderer create a block so depending on the time batch timeout or batch size it create a block let's assume that here we have defined two second as a batch timeout and the batch size is maximum 10 masses count that is the 10 transactions so whichever comes earlier so within a one second we got a 12 transactions okay so for the first 10 transactions it will create a block within a single uh, within a one second that is the batch size and in case so let's assume that within a first two seconds we got only one transaction so after this batch timeout if there is any transaction it create a block even for the single transactions so this is the purpose of batch timeout and batch size in the genesis block the absolute max byte size that is a 99 mb preferred max byte size is 512 kb and here again for the organizations we have a implicit meta policy same as the above so coming to the channel configuration in channel configuration as well we have the policies readers writers and the admin these are the different configuration defined for the channel orderer and the application capabilities are there the, all the configurations are there so right now we will define the profiles here yeah first profile is used for creating the channel 
the first profile is used for creating the channel or transaction block and second profile is used for generating the genesis dot block the second profile order genesis is used for creating the genesis block here we are defining uh, first one which is the basic channel so consortium we are using simple consortium channel defaults we defined already above you you can see that in the application we are de uh, defining as the application default just we gone through all this part channel defaults application defaults channel capabilities in the organizations we have defined a configuration for organization 1 and organization 2 so here we are defining organization 1 and organization 2 and capabilities we above just mentioned that the application capabilities coming to the second part is the order of genesis this profile is used for creating the genesis block where we are defining channel defaults capabilities orderer organizations capabilities and the consortium In, inside the consortium we have multiple organizations so coming to the create artifacts.ss file again we will be using this file for creating the channel uh, again this file we will be using for creating the crypto material as well as the channel artifacts so this is the command config tx gen here we are using config tx gen tool we are providing the profile because we have defined two different profile here orderer profile and basic channel orderer genesis as basic channel profile orderer genesis config path we are providing correct same one because this config file is available in the same hierarchy config is dot yaml current part channel id is system uh, this one system channel and we are creating the genesis block using this command so output block would be genesis dot block which will be available inside the same folder that inside the channel so we'll see that and for the next configuration block cryptogen is a co config tx gen again here we are providing the profile basic channel config path would be the same file config path uh, is the same file output create channel transactions my channel dot transactions channel id channel name so which here we already mentioned chan my channel and channel id as a my channel and we are creating my channel dot transaction so we'll run this command now create channel artifacts you can see here inside the channel channel folder will get created these two blocks here you can see genesis dot block my channel dot transaction these two files are get got created here so again we will create anchor peer for these organizations because that is also necessary in the next video we will create we'll see the difference between anchor peer and the leader peer but before that we will create this uh, anchor peer the command is config tx gen profile providing basic channel config path the home same one output anchor peer update or given msp anchor peer this transaction file will get created here on the same hierarchy where the my channel dot transaction block is there channel id same my channel as org or one msp the msp we have to provide that so for these two commands are already there just we have to execute it so upper part already commented and then lower two commands are uncommented so here we will run that these two commands using create artifacts.sh so here you can see this part org1 ms banker peer or two ms banker peer got created so now we have created the channel artifacts and crypto material for the our networks now we can proceed with the creating the network uh, that's it for this video in case if you're facing any issue just let me know in the comment section so that i will try to help you guys in case if if you feel any doubt that i am doing something wrong just let me know i so that i will try to correct myself thank you so much 
Stay tuned for the more update. See you soon in the next video.